Sections down the middle and whatever I'm not using, I am just going to just pin it away. So I don't really like using much products because I don't really want to weigh the hair, hair down. So what I'm just going to do is use this product and maybe just a little bit of oil. Maybe this product just does fine for me. Um, so I'm just going to spread all on the hair. And I like to take a comb and just comb it out. Well, distribute the product in the hair. And then what I like to do from there is take another section. And then I'm just going to begin the curling process. I'm going to take my 5-in-1 uh, New Me curling wand that I got so long ago. So what I do is put this behind me and then I just wrap it around. And then I let it sit for like maybe a few uh, seconds, not too long. I really don't care what direction I go with my curls because I like a lot of volume. So it doesn't really matter what direction I go with the curls. But I take my hand, I drop it, and I kind of hold the curl just a little bit. Even though we're putting on the flexi rod, I still like to hold the curl. And then this is how the curl will be looking. And then I take a flexi rod. I don't even really know what inch this is. I got these flexi rods so long ago and it doesn't really matter what type of flexi rods you use. Like it just depends on the curls. I like the orange one because it's not too small and it's not too big. But I take the flexi rod and I wrap it around. And I also, I don't know if y'all can see this, but I wrap it and I pull it down here. So it was probably a little bit hard to see that. So as I get closer to the top, you'll actually see how I put the flexi rod on. I really like it anyway. I'm just going to show you how I wrap it as I get closer to the top since it's a little hard to do it now. I like to hold the curl as I mentioned earlier just for a few seconds because I'm still going to put it in the flexi rod so it's still going to um, hold the curl in the flexi rod. And then I take the flexi rod and I put it on the back of the curl and then wrap it just like I did it with the curling wand. And then I take this piece here and just push it down and I take this piece here and push it up. And then that's how it stays. Alright y'all, so I am basically finished with all of my head. This one fell out, but we just not going to worry about it. Um, <laughs> I like to leave these out because I don't like to flexi ride these. I like to actually flat iron it um, because I kind of want to give it a layered effect. So I'm going to uh, comb it out and then I'm going to take my flat iron. And I like to start at the base of the lace to get it like as smooth as possible. And then I like to bring it out and then just flick it. It's hard for me to explain it, so hopefully you can just pay attention. And then I just roll it. And I'll leave it there for a few seconds. And then I just bring it down. And then I just pin curl it. Usually I use bobby pins, but I don't have them right now, I'm not gonna go get them, so yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's 
So my sister went and got them for me. <laughs> so again, you're going to pin curl it and you're going to take a bobby pin. And you're just going to place it in there. I only take one because it's not going to be there for long. Alright, so we waited five minutes, so now we're just going to take the flexi rods out. I like to start from the bottom and then work my way up to the top. And literally, what I like to do is I like to just unravel them and sometimes it just falls out. Alright, so now I'm finished taking out every uh, flexi rod and also my pan curls in the top. So I am going to take the L'Oreal Evolve Extraordinaire Oil. Um, so it can still kind of have the same effect as uh, this at the top. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look of the hair. Um, you can see that it is very big and voluptuous. And if you don't like big curls, um, I would suggest just finger curling, I mean finger combing the um, curls once you take them out of the flexi rods. Um, and that way it won't be as big. But or don't put flexi rods like after you wand curl it do not put flexi rods the flexi rod is going to give it more of a big with volume look so if you like that type of look